his driving skills are on point, that's all we care about. <laughs> He's alright. <laughs> Uh -oh. It's dumb. It's cool. It's like a showroom. Uh, oh, for us, like augmented reality? Yeah. Uh, then we have the Charger, which is like a dumb guy. There's a red target right there. Uh, yeah, it's probably using an iPod touch. They don't make those anymore, do they? Yeah, I think they discontinued them, what, last year? This year? This would make me go last year. That thing's pretty sweet. Yeah. For a lot, if it's like 80 whatever thousand yeah. dollars, like the... If it, uh, if it comes out looking like that. Yeah, I mean, it definitely has some Pan American yeah. like, look to it, but... I mean, it's original yeah. Boxster, so... Look at this thing. Yeah. Came in S in that color. Who would drive that? I just pulled up, I saw yours and a couple other ones, like, right there. Yeah. I was like, oh! Looks like maybe packed. The GTS looks hot, man. That's gonna be nice to drive. I mean. Yeah. I mean, this one's a little bit nicer with like a little more leather and stuff, but and the the dash is is, is more. This almost reminds me of the 918. Yeah. You know, with that big stack. How's, how's the transmission feel? It feels nice. It didn't feel like a 911 though, but DC turbo. Yeah. yeah. Too. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Like All this is mesh. Yeah. Come on. It's like if I want to hop to a newer model, I think I want the inside to be like really, really different, refreshed. Yeah. Because yeah. I think if you buy this, it's, you're almost in like exactly. It feels Same like I'm in the. Yeah. I mean, it's nicer, you know. <laughs> but I think you could wrap your stuff in, in some leather like this too, and It'd be the same experience. Pretty much, you know. Two laps, now you, now you know it? Yeah. That's, it's not too bad. They're, they're nice though, they get it though. Yeah, I still, I'm, I'm still understeering it. Yeah, know, I, it, like, I just forget how much weight yeah. it has. And it just wants well, to I didn't get to mash it, like, you know, really. Yeah, did you open it up much? Uh, barely. Or? Like, I thought we were actually going to work yeah. our way into it. I did a little bit in this. Yeah, that little section right there. It, it kind of ate me up. He's like, yeah. all right, you open up something. Yeah. Like, all right. So, let's see. Oh, we got Mark here doing his first time lap. lap now we're gonna have the second lap coming around it's back on throttle hard there we go it's definitely pushing this one harder hard brake zone coming up through here nice radius turn and then do another little straight gas gas and brake brake with the apex there we go it's coming around looks nice and smooth 
That was it. Oh, go ahead. How, how you think you did? You looked really smooth the whole yeah. way coming through. That last turn, yeah. It felt like I was flying. Yeah. It said I could turn more, but it felt like it hurt really hard. Yeah. You looked really smooth. Yeah, it looked good. Kind of same mistakes as normal, yeah. like uh, either coming off the brake uh, too quickly or braking too quickly. Because uh, you could feel when you'd come off the brake, you'd actually, uh, I, I would, I'd need to stay on the brake and let yeah. it off slower. Yeah. You know. Uh, and then I would, I, I was really just afraid of diving in. Exactly. And and yeah. just understeering. Exactly. You don't want to fly through the cones. Yeah. Here, you know. Yeah. But it felt pretty good. I think definitely one more lap. Like my second yeah. lap was definitely faster than the first yeah. lap. So. so. Oh well. But, it's definitely a different experience than yeah. when we did the BMW stuff. Yeah, and a bit, and yeah. my keyboard wasn't really giving me like, all right, brakes up, yeah, just that, yeah, like, yeah. it's kind of letting me go at yeah. it, you know? So, it's all good. I think one more lap probably would have been. Yeah, it's yeah. always one more lap. Yeah, the second lap, <laughs> always one more lap. The second lap, though, was definitely, it felt, um, it definitely felt better, you know? Yeah. On to the next. We don't know who came in first place, do we? Uh, no. I guess we'll maybe find out at the end or something like that. I guess you know? so. Maybe we can go bribe those chicks. <laughs> so, hey, here's 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 the twenty. Yeah. Like, have you ever gone for a ride to Cayman? I know a guy. She, she works for Porsche. <laughs> she's not like, girl, that's cute. That's cute. I drove a 918. Yeah. Hey, we can ask him real quick. Yeah. That's all we need. Yes, See, what would yeah. it make a difference? So that's the question. Ten dollars a second. Mark, oh. you got some cash? Oh man, I got. Y'all take Venmo or PayPal? But how did you do six seconds? That's crazy. Yeah. Thanks, ladies. I, I think if I had the money and I was in the market, I'd probably buy a Target. Yeah, know? I think I agree, dude. It looks hot. It's a I mean, car. It, it looks like a. You know, it's sixty. It looks special. Target too. Yeah, it looks special. Yeah. You know? I mean, I like either, it's either that Target or uh, a GT3. Yeah. If you don't want to spend the money, you still want yeah. something that's cool and different. So, what are we driving? We are driving Panamera 4S. We're going to do your Panamera 4S. Okay. We're also going to be driving Cayenne GTS. Now, both of these cars have the same horsepower. Back here. Wow, this is really nice setup. Wow. This is nice, there's not a whole bunch of like non-used buttons now, you know? Right. You don't have any weird, uh, no option, like people don't know if yeah. you get the options or not. Yeah. It sounds good. Yeah. I feel like the undulations You're right. of the road or anything. Like the Cayman's always constantly. Yeah, the Cayman, yeah, you can yeah. feel, and this is, it's smooth. I mean, you get a little bit of feedback, but not from like where you get in a hydraulic rack. It felt like a slight hesitation. Well, you, you got that. 
tried it in that. Well, you have it not in that. You have it in drive, so. Yeah. I wonder if, I'm in manual. I mean, that's my manual. I wonder if he had it in drive. It, it was smooth when he was driving it. So push to her. I think that's what was that to too. Um, <laughs> these have carbon ceramics on them? No, these are still these. Steel. Yeah. So they feel like, it feels like a normal brake pedal. But most carbon ceramics feel normal now. That is, know? yeah. Alright, so now we are in the... Cayenne GTS. Cayenne GTS. So this is the big brother of the uh, Macan. So the uh, this transmission is a lot better than the previous kind that I drove. Oh really? Yeah, the, I drove last year's model. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it was like lazy. Well, they said this torque converter, so you don't have the dual clutch. No, but I mean, they've re remapped this ECU for the transmission. Yeah. Better. Yeah. And plus one is GTS, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nicely. Of course, you got to do the nice handling roads. I think you got shafted on the beginning. <laughs> like, we'll let you drive through the neighborhood. I went to the grocery store at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a decent sound to it. Yeah. Oh, it's fuck time, I guess. Go ahead and stop here for a uh, second, folks. It's all right. There we go. There we go, yeah. I want to stop real quick. Yeah. It's a present for an SUV. 106. Yeah, launch control feels good, but then it doesn't. Yeah. It falls off. Like, yeah. You need a PDK. <laughs> what do you think compared to the Panamera? Uh, I mean, Panamera definitely felt. This feels like SUV. Yeah. You know, like. Well, your that bias is strong with you, man. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Feels just like your car, except as back seat, a back seat. Right. Yeah, turn that. Up. Sport. Sport Plus. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Little knob here to do it. Mm -hmm. Put it in a Sport Plus. Cause that's how we do it. No revving. What's the difference between a base price and the base Cayman and a base 911? Uh, you get things like. Um, Rear, rear wheel steer, yeah. get more power, more options. It'd be kind of cool if they did that, almost the Panamera console. I think it's another time. We should be all set. Let's go ahead and put it in drive and follow me. The seating position is weird versus your car. Oh yeah, because you're actually in a chair and I... Alright, so yeah. uh, we'll go slow here the first lap or two, just kind of talk you around.
on the, the uh, this is why you can get the base. <laughs> look at the look out at squad, you see it? Sound, but it's not a bad sound either. Yeah. Brakes are not as uh Yeah, it's not a great sound. <laughs> it's not like you're breaking the car. All right, so now we are in the new Cayman S. Right. So basically the new version of Mark's car. Hey, are y'all utilizing this? Do y'all have Sport Plus in here? Yeah. yeah. Are y'all using it? Yeah. yeah. Do y'all know how to use this button? Yeah. Oh, no. This is the maximum response. Once oh. Because you get the maximum, maximum. Oh, good looking out. I guess we didn't know how to use that button. So, before we even got into this car, Mark said he would yeah, not. I said I would not buy this car. He would not buy this car. So now, I mean, the interior, it's basically, other than the console being a little different. Well, I mean, okay, we're all good. it Back really feels. Here. Like we're in the exact same car. I mean, engine note alone would keep me from. Yeah, we're running. in a four cylinder. Yeah. So you can hit that button. Yeah. And it'll give you. Back straight. Yeah. Oh, nice. So we got a little nitrous button here. This sounds different than the. Yeah. Well, we have a metal roof, so. True. This one sounds better. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, it definitely rotates better too, dude. It's pretty you know, stiffer. I don't know this difference. Woo! There's a there's a maximum response for like 15 seconds. You see the can you see the dial on that? Yeah. What's the power difference between this car and your car? Do you know? Uh, probably 50 horsepower. Well, stock. I don't know if my car is stock. Yours this feels pretty healthy. Yeah. I think part of the problem is you need to drive this in a, in a, in a stick. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> I'm, man, the sound of a car is so integral. To your experience. Right, good job, guys. Lower down, back to pit road. I mean, you can always do stuff with exhaust, you know. Yeah, but no, I mean, and I mean, and yours already has exhaust on yeah. it, so you're comparing that as One well. One compared to GTS too, as well. Yeah. And that's just more visceral. Yeah. I mean, it's good. If I didn't have a Cayman. Yeah. Maybe I would feel different. Maybe spend the extra to get right. a little newer right. one. Change. But, I, I, but you'll see. Yeah. Like no, like it handles great. It's a great driving car. It's just I don't really care for the sound. Like that's enough to keep me out of it. Yeah. yeah. Alright. I've got two awards. The first one is an Exxon Mobil $50 fuel card. Woo! And this goes to the most fuel efficient driver of the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> and that's Carol Sealer. Where's Carol? <laughs> straights we break just significantly different we do what's called threshold braking so not a really easy break where you touch right. the brake and then you go into a full stop like you do when you're going to get the groceries this is a full threshold break trying to fight the understeer of the car it's a big car you got to do a lot to do that but then big threshold brake right there that allows us to hopefully 
save a little bit of tire for Porsche. We don't have to change these things every day. Nice big turns through here, and when I hit the rumble strips right there, I'm full throttle. We're gonna head down the front straight, and we're gonna get to about 110, and then big brake one more time as we go into the turn. It's crazy. Turns almost in every car are basically the same speed. It doesn't matter if I'm in Miata or a GT3 or a Ferrari or anything else. They're generally taken at about the same speed. So we've just got to manage the horsepower that we have and the speed that we can get out of the car at the end of the straights to go through the corners at a speed that doesn't scrub a bunch of speed understeer essentially in a, uh, in, in a street car because that's what they're engineered to do. And that's your lap. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Greatness. It's a lot like driving with my brothers. Exactly. <laughs> Seventeen. Seventeen. Here's your. Thanks so much. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah. So another free event. No. Sorry. Yeah. Another free event. Uh, what's your favorite thing? Uh, I, I, I like the autocross. I mean, I went faster than Mark, so that's always going to be my favorite thing. Uh huh. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think getting to experience the new Cayman versus Mark's car, uh, driving the GTS, uh, you know, it gives me a lot of appreciation for Porsche and my products. So and when you get your GT3? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we'll go, ahead, go ahead and do that for us. Yeah. You know? I'm really, really, really bad. I'm going to hold on to Lambo for now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever you trade in the uh, R8. Yeah, that is yeah. true. Yeah, I move on up to something else. So, hope you guys liked it. We'll see you next time. Click subscribe, like, comment. You know the drill. We're living out. Out. Oh, 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 oh,